Mad Cardigati Henry Bolton has no future as leader of UKIFIS problems began when his former girlfriend made racist comments about Prince Harry's fiancée Meghan Markle. His difficulties also reflect the more general woes of a political party which achieved its great aim, the campaign for Brexit, but has floundered ever since without a real sense of direction. It has had a succession of leaders over the past year. It has had severe financial problems and has become more famous for infighting than for laying out a coherent policy. At the weekend Patrick O'Flynn, UKIP's MEP for the East of England, told BBC One Sunday Politics East that there's no doubt the party is drinking in the last chance saloon. He added this stark warning if we get wiped out again in the district elections too, then maybe people are going to have to get round the table and say is the electorate trying to tell us something and is that thank you very much and good night. Those who believe that UKIP has a role in seeing Brexit through to its completion must realize that it will never be a credible force until Mr. Bolton resigns. Social care helps. Health A study from Canada has revealed that increased spending on social care improves health just as much as spending more on health care. This is common sense. One small example elderly people are much better off being cared for in their own homes than being taken into hospital. Everyone knows this yet too often they are sent to hospital because there is no other way of looking after them well. Not only are they are less likely to make a good recovery but they are occupying beds often for weeks at a time. The NHS resources are stretched and the patient is not as well served as he or she would be if social care was improved and worked in tandem with the health service. It's not as they say, rocket science but reassigning funding could make a huge difference. Mr. Sanders goes home Facebook Norman Sanders. Family have sent his ashes on an 11,000 mile voyage back to England Norman Sanders's family placed the ashes of the much loved great great grandfather in a model boat and it has now set sail from the coast of New South Wales on what is hoped will be its trip back to England. Bon voyage Mr. Sanders. What a touching tribute.